difference. 97. Seven apiece. Whitlock left 5 2. We also had a dart at the ball to make it 6 2 before Wade won three legs of his own to get back in business. 66. Winner of this plays Lewis or Barnavel in Friday's semi finals. Well, what a mistake that was from Whitlock. The first dart absolutely plumb in the treble 20. And then went 1 5. But Wade not punishing him for the mistake. Well, Wade looking for a couple of trebles, which is not going to happen. 41. So Whitlock, a little bit of breathing space in this leg to just stay a little bit more calmer. I was going to say hit one treble with every three. And the first dart pounds into the red bit on the dart ball. 100. Well, he should go for the 19s, looking for 133 to leave the 170. Another one of those would leave him the 170. That's a lucky. Well, you think a ton is a minimum 60. requirement, only 60, so certainly a chance here for James Wade if he can find a 140 from here. That makes it difficult. Got to come to the left. Too far to the left. I was going to say he needs a treble, but not the treble five. 35 score. One, seven, three left. Probably come down for the 19s. Oh, that's unlucky. Right on the top one. Again, not punishing Whitlock's bad shot. Whitlock will feel that he only has to set it up, but another one of those. A big shot this for Wade, but you feel it's got to go. 154. Well, he went for two treble twenties. The right decision to leave double 17 because the first dart was so beautifully positioned for him. So Whitlock to edge your head once more. Edge your head, he does. Whitlock at the moment, 42% on his double checkout. James Wade, 33%. Quite a bit of difference. 9%. And those, there we have it. 7 out of 21 for Wade. 8 out of 19 for Whitlock. And now, Wade desperately holding on to his throw now. 60. Whitlock two legs away from a semi final place. Well, Lewis or Van Barneveld, and that's coming up right after the conclusion of this match. 98. James Wade, the only time he's led in this game was when he won the very first leg. He settled for that. <laughs> it was the second oh, time was when he won the very last leg. Yeah, he's always been chasing. Whitlock's always had the command in the game at, right the way through from the first leg. Certainly now the pressure Good is on. Simon Whitlock will be stepping up. He's saying, you can see him saying to himself, come on, come on. I need a 140 here. I need to go out nine darts from here. Nine darts only gives way six darts from 245. So he needs at least one treble. 100. Exactly that he's done. Yeah, temperature still 80 degrees outside here in Dubai at the tennis centre. 96. As we are reaching a thrilling finale of our opening match at the first ever staging of the Dubai Darts Masters. 105. Well, we got went for the 25 to leave a two dart shot out. Right now, right, it goes for the treble 19. That will leave him double 16. He's hit that. He's missed the balls on a big checkout. Can he hit the Can double 16? Absolutely brilliant, brilliant dart from James Wade. Simon Whitlock asked the right question, back. and James Wade answered it. Levels it up at eight apiece. That was class, to it. You know, when when someone asks you the question, 16. you do it. He, he missed the balls eye for the 164. Well, the 161, I should say, and there he takes out the 149, the biggest shot out in the game. 
at this moment. Well, all about the confidence, isn't it? 100. There was no way. The first two darts were so beautifully thrown. There was no way he was going to miss the double 16. He had double trouble. Took him five attempts to hit it. A couple of legs ago. 140. So eight all. Can't separate them. Three. Best of three comes down to for a place in the semi-finals. 139. Well, I normally say you've got to hit four trebles with six darts in some part of the game to break someone's throat. 60. Is it? Two out of three. Now he's got to follow it up. He's got the throw, as we call it. He's got the three darts advantage. And he needs a treble. He put himself in a good position in this leg. 60. And another... Well, I thought that was in from where we were sitting, Stu, but it wasn't so... He's given Whitlock a chance. Well, we predicted the first game would be too close to call. That's exactly the way it's Amy. turned out here in Dubai. Uh, terrific crowd as well, a couple of thousand here inside the tennis centre for the opening night. Been a really good response and 60. a lot of locals so as well have bought tickets uh, to come and watch the darts here. Well, Whitlock can't afford not to hit a treble. 60. Yeah, Next left wide 140. in, this leg really has gone backwards and forwards. Wide now knows, he looks at both scores, he's thinking... Let me just set this up, leave myself a two dart finish when I come back. 42. He hasn't done it. He's left 100. So, who can take the big shot out? Whitlock's got the first chance. Oh, it's a great dart. Topsy needs. 61. So, Whitlock's had one dart to go nine one eight one. up. What a time this would be for James Wade to break the throw. Oh, yes, beautiful dart, tops! Fabulous, fabulous dart from James Way. A 1-4-9 to stay in the hunt. And now a two dart, hundred check out. All of a sudden, he's ahead and he's throwing for the match. Well, that's why James Way has won seven majors on the PDC and on Sky TV. Those checkouts, I mean, that is as good as it gets. And I know the 149 is a lot bigger than the ton, but that ton shot out seven. under the pressure to break the throw is, like, right up there, you know. And they were both dead centre darts. The treble 20 was straight in the middle and the double top didn't even go near the wires. And now he's turning the screw, needs this leg to walk off for a semi-final place against Van Barneveld or Lewis. 130. Well, a great response from Whitlock. Remember, the Aussie was 5-2 in front. He also missed one dart at the ball for a double break in a 6-2 lead. Okay. Great response from James Wade. 134. Well, nine darts thrown from Wade on 167 and on his throw. And Whitlock needs the maximum. And Whitlock answers the question also. What a great shot from Whitlock. Leaves him a possible dart at the bullseye. If he hits one treble, but Wade is going to set it up. So Whitlock now to perhaps stay in the Dubai Masters here in. Oh, and he's gone and missed that. That was a cardinal sin, missing the big number, Stu. So. 90. Whitlock, Whitlock misses. He's left himself tops though, just in case. He's gonna have one dart at tops for the match. 50. Well, James Wayne, one dart 50. at tops. Whitlock has the same target to take us into a decider. Double ten. Double ten for the Aussie! Twenty. Well, I can't believe that Simon Thank three clear man. darts and a double 20. to stay in. And now Wade, his favourite, double ten for a win. Double five. A Thanks. double Shot. five it is! James, James Wade, Wade. was five two down against Simon Whitlock. And Whitlock there missing three darts of his own.
to take us into a deciding leg. But it's James Wade, it's the machine who wins. Terrific victory for Wade, 5-2 down. He edges it 10-8 here at the Dubai Tennis Centre. Well, James Wade will be thrilled with that performance. Simon Whitlock had his chance. He really did have an opportunity. 5-2 in front. He looked to be very much in control of things as well. And that one dart crucially missed at the ball to go 6-2 in front. Well, there he is, James Wade, the winner. The first man through to the semi-finals here on Friday night. James Wade will take on uh, either Adrian Lewis or Raymond van Barneveld in the semi-finals. And there we have it, uh, averaging both around 90. Whitlock the advantage on the 180s. But the finishing was the key at the end. James Wade with a 149 finish, followed by a two dart 100 checkout. And let's hear from the winner. James Wade is now talking to Rob McCaffrey. Rod, you called it before the match there, didn't you? James Wade is a fighter. It looked like Simon Whitlock was going to run away with it, but James Wade was having none of it. Yeah, I mean, uh, Wade took, won the first leg. That was the only time he led until the end there. I mean, but the 149 and then the 100, they're classy shots. That's why James Wade is a seven-time major winner in the PDC circuit. You know, he tends to pull out the big shots at the right time. Whitlock going to miss the three darts to, to take it to the decider, and you just knew Wade weren't going to, you know, miss again. What a first game we have for the, I mean, for the Darts Masters, thriller. We, we couldn't ask for anything better, as you can hear. You know, a great crowd here for the first time. And the two guys that went up there, I mean, they got up there hammer and tongs at each other. And, uh, yeah, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Clo we want close games because we want to see them under pressure. We want to see the big shots. We want to see the 180s. And we've got everything in the first game. Well, we're going to move on to the second match shortly, the battle of the multiple world champions, Adrian Lewis, Raymond van Barnveld. What are your thoughts going into this? Well, the form horse is Barney. Since the Grand Slam last year, he's really been on a high. He had a golden for a couple of years. And Lewis has been in that. He's not really been confident. He's not consistent enough at the moment. But with his raw natural talent, he could easily rock up and just blow Barney away. But in, on the form horse, you would have to go for Barney. Well, let's hear from Adrian Lewis, the two-time world champion. tournament goes on and for us it's a new thing it's uh, it's one of the nicest trips you can go to you know it's uh, weather is great you know uh, good food uh, nice things to watch and uh, we're there for the dance as well so um, we're coming to a new era now for uh, for traveling the whole world I still think I can improve of course um, my scoring is nothing wrong with you know uh, but uh, to all other things you know it's it's the tiredness you know during the travelling and um, I'm back on the fitness now so uh, suddenly all confidence is back and hopefully with this new series of darts we can travel to Japan, uh, maybe Canada, China, uh, Australia such of these countries are, are beautiful, really nice and, and, and maybe um, the Chinese will, will practice them and what we're going to have in five years time you know, maybe a Chinese world champion can tell or a Dubai world champion With James Wade, the winner. Uh, what a game. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, I started off very, very well with a walk-on just down there. I tripped up over the carpet, made myself look like a right prat. Um, but, you know, I, I compensated and um, done myself proud up there. And it's really, really hard with these um, new conditions and new atmospheres. Um, but it's, it's brilliant, so it's good. Have you ever played darts in a tennis stadium before? No, I, no, I haven't. It's all new to me. And... Uh, 
for all the bad things, all the great things overtake that. So, you know, I'm really lucky to, lucky to be part of this. Are you surprised just how big you guys are here in Dubai? The, the, the atmosphere is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. I think dance is always crazy, though, isn't it, you know? Um, yeah, we're, lucky, we're lucky to be where we are and we're lucky to do what we do. Well played tonight. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. I will be here. Hold well on, James. He's the machine, it's worth interviewing him twice, isn't it? OK, let's get back to the second match. We heard from Barney there. He wants this, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think all eight players are so up for this. The first one in, in, in a major city like this, you know, the first outdoor stadium, you know, in Dubai, everybody's been looked after so much. Every one of them players are going, I want to stand, I want this on my CV. I, and sometimes, you know, they can't over-pressurise themselves. But Barney, he's got that lethargic throw. But Lewis just needs to, you know, to prove something for his fans. And Barney as well, when you talk about fans, he's got a lot of support in here tonight, hasn't he? He does. He, wherever he goes, Barney's got a lot of fans. Sometimes back in England, especially Scotland, they get on the back of A.D. Lewis. Which, uh, but in Dusseldorf, he had him on it, you know, with him, which he found a bit alien. But uh, they blocked that out. They used the hubbub and, and the adrenaline of the crowd, you know, to enhance their, their, the eyesight and their actions. So we're in for a good game. Let's hope so. We're going to hear from his opponent, though, now. Here is Adrian Lewis. I've certainly picked up uh, the last couple of months. Um, I had a really patchy year, to be honest, um, from after winning the world title last year. Um, started knuckling down. I've realised this. If, uh, I know if I aren't putting the work and I know they are, so that's uh, you know, a big motivation for me. The standards are high now. Uh, all the players coming through now. Uh, it's, it's really tough. And uh, sometimes you need that little bit of luck as well. Um, but, you know, if you're playing really well, it, it seems to come with it. You know, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm a very emotional player, and uh, I'm a winner. It's exciting times. I mean, uh, the PDC Green Globe, for start, I mean, it's massive for us, you know, as a player, uh, for being involved in that. Um, really looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully I can win it. Obviously, playing against the, the world's top eight, it's, it's a big tournament for a win, and uh, obviously the prize money's good as well. So, uh, like I say, I can't really wait for now. Just get up there. Well, what a first match we've had. Can Adrian Lewis and Raymond Van Barnveld match that? Let's hand now down to John McDonald. Welcome that's coming to you live from the Dubai Tennis Stadium. And this is the Dubai Duty Free Darts Masters, brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation. And a very warm welcome to those viewers joining us around the world. Welcome to Dubai! Now it's time to meet our players. He's ranked number eight in the world. He's the reigning Grand Slam champion and the greatest Dutch star player in history. It's time to meet the five-time champion of the world, Raymond Dan.
to the Dubai Duty Free Darts Masters here, the opening night. We have just seen a terrific first match between uh, James Wade and Simon Whitlock. Wade, a winner by uh, ten legs to eight. And we're back here now for, uh, could be, potentially, the match of the night. We shall see Barnabal against Adrian Lewis, Raymond Van Barnabal, popular wherever he goes around the world. And uh, Adrian Lewis, uh, popular in Germany. That's what we were talking about before, isn't it? Barney, uh, no doubt about it, the most popular darts player in the world at the moment. But, uh, they love. They might boo him occasionally in the UK, but they absolutely love Adrian Lewis and Simon Whitlock, don't they, in Germany? They are the standout stars, the two times champion of the world. And uh, what a year and a bit that was for Adrian Lewis. Hasn't really hit the heights, hit those dizzy heights over the last 12 months. And the volleyball will rightly be the favourite. Barney to get us underway in our second quarter-final. Yeah, but Barney, <clears throat> he'd gone through the doldrums for a couple of years and then rocked up at the uh, Grand Slam of Darts in Wolverhampton. Went on and won that. And since then, he's really been firing on all cylinders. We're 80. I think the pressure of being a double world champion really got to him. Everybody, you know, when you win the world championship, everybody wants your scalp. Every professional, every amateur, no matter who you play, they want your scalp. And that's a lot of pressure, especially on the young man's shoulders, as Barney has a little bit of a, a grin on his face as the dark goes in a little bit different to what he normally does. You know, we are playing outside every now and again. We get a little bit of air movement across the stage. Now, very, very occasional gust of breeze, but it is very occasional. And uh, Simon Whitlock and James Wade managing perfectly well in the in the opening game. A really, really good standard. And Barney and Lewis just need to get on with it. The uh, the early stages of this game could yet be very, very important. Ninety-eight. You know, they both throw light darts, and uh, Barney glides his dart in, so if there is a little bit of air movement, you know, it would affect Barney's darts possibly more than anybody else's. But like we say, they all know it's the same for all of them. And you've, got to, you know, you've got to get on and get into these first legs. You don't want to put a negative in your head in the early legs. You've got to stay focused, you've got to stay positive. Uh, Russ Bray is our referee. Not a long, long, long run with that. I'm surprised he didn't follow it with a maximum as well. But uh, Lewis here with a chance to win this opening leg against the throw. Well, I couldn't believe that Amy had to check his score before he threw the third dart. He needs. He's got two darts, a double four for his first leg. And that's the one thing that's been letting AD down. He's been scoring well enough. It's just those doubles, and they were a long way off. And it opens the door up for Barnevelt. This is a good checkout. May go 20 for double 18. He loves the double 18, does Barnevelt. And that is exactly why. That takes that the 116, the 136, and the 156 more than any other player. Nothing wrong with that, was there? May have taken a bit of getting used to the conditions for the players for the first uh, six darts or so. But now they are back in business and Barnabas there with a trademark 116 finish. That, that's typical AD's game at the moment, Stu. You know, he's letting players off, especially in the early part of games. I tell all the youngsters, you know, you may lose 6 4, 6 5. You know, but it's, it's the early legs when you've given them away, and certainly AD against the throw that would have been two darts at double four. That's well, where he's got to tighten up, and if he tightens that part of his game up, he will be back in the winning circle again. And he fills up the first 180 of the match. It's easy, hits the treble, yep. like no business. Three in a bed, all in trouble, five for Barney. Three in a bed, all in trouble, 20 for Adrian Lewis. So. And they're up and running. Barney taking the opening leg with a, a 116 checkout. And Adrian Lewis here. Well, looking wrong with it now. Is there Adrian? 180, 180.
penalty. And, uh, well, he's got time on his side. He may well split this rather than go straight for the double 19. Well, a lot of players would go for the six, but he's going straight for the double 19. And the way his darts kick up, it's covered. He's got the right-hand side. That's all he needed for the third dart. Half the double on the right-hand side. But Barney will know. That's just... He's just held on to his throat. But in the first match, we had maximums back-to-back. -back, and already in the second leg, in the second match, Adrian Lewis fars in 180s back-to-back. Well, Adrian Lewis is, uh, is motoring now, that's for sure. Two of the most naturally gifted players in the world of darts. And you know, when they're on their game, they really are a joy to behold. And the signs are here that Adrian Lewis, after an iffy opening leg, is very much on his game. And despite the fact that uh, he struggled early doors. Don't forget, he did have darts to win the opening leg before Barnabal took out that 10 plus finish. It's Adrian Lewis on his scoring. Already no, sorry, Adrian Lewis. He's throwing the dart a lot harder. He feels he's got to do that because if there's a bit of air movement, he needs to throw the dart harder to get it there. And he's scoring a lot better. He's getting the first dart ups. We see Barney. Oh, just missed the one eight. And this may be the chance for Andy Lewis to go, well, I've got to throw the dart harder every time, because that's how I keep the straight. And as I said, that a 140 to really put the pressure on. Well, oh, perfect. Perfect to leave double 18. So the pressure here on Barnabas. He's only going to get one dart at top. This to hold throw. Well, it was a really well thrown dart and kissed the bottom wire. Lewis here, 13 darts to break. He's settled for 14. 15 will do, AD. Well, what a chance. Two darts he missed to win the opening leg. He's just missed three more here to go ahead and break the Barney throw. And he's 12 points clear on the average in front of Barney. And that's, uh... Dart. Oh, what a great dart. That lady would have sat there and stood there going, let me just give me another chance. But certainly, there's no question that Aidy's throwing the dart harder and it's making it go straighter. Well, work this out. The stats sometimes tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The stats also are often an anomaly. Look at that, 21 points, better off in the averages, and he's losing. The reason he's losing is that he's missed seven darts at double. Crucially, he's missed five darts to break the Barnabal throw in legs one and three. Of course, there we have it, 13%. If he'd have clocked that a little bit quicker, the average would have been up at about round 110. But Barney knows, you know, he's confident in his own ability at the moment, really is firing. And he knows he'll just sit there, he'll make, let AD make the mistakes, and then he'll pounce on them. I mean, let's face it, AD could be 3 0 up at the moment. Well, the difference with Barney, I mean, we always talk about Barney being, his head being in the right place, i.e., he believes he can win. Um, that's been the case for the last six months since he won the Grand Slam. Also with Barnevel, he's put the work in. He reached the Premier League semi-finals, uh, lost to Taylor, maybe should have won that game uh, if he'd scored better against Taylor in London a week ago. But uh, for Barnevel, the practice has been the doubles, and we are now expecting him when he has three darts and a double, that he will win the leg with those three darts. And that's what's been happening over recent months. It happened in the Premier League. Is it going to happen again tonight? Tough to break. Well, there you go. Case in point. Barney takes out a 120. Lewis has missed his doubles. Barneveld, well, he's 11 points down on the averages. Leads 3-1. And throwing here to make it 4-1. But Barney's belief that he can win legs, that he can hit the doubles, he just proved the point. Yeah, he's not panicking. That's all he's doing. He knows that Aidy's having a, a spell where he can't hit doubles. 
he's just waiting for his chances and the 116 the 120 although they're ton pluses you know these guys are doing it regular when you're confident you're going to do it you know we see why take out 149 